Hey guys, it's Shelly with the Lemonade Store, and today we're gonna to talk about Tombow markers. And specifically, we're gonna talk about the dual brush pens. And those are the ones that have the brush tip on the one end and a bullet nib on the other. I am not sponsored by Tombow. Um, I started out with like a set of I don't know, bright colors, I think it was. And they are pricier than the Crayolas, but they have a really great brush tip and they have a lot of really cool features with them. So I'm just gonna take a few moments and go over some of my favorite tips um, when it comes to these markers. So let's talk about, um, first of all, you know what? Everything we write today is gonna be a subscriber name because we are totally filling our jar. It's almost time to get like a new one. So I'm gonna grab, let's just keep grabbing names. So actually I'm gonna pour them out to make it super fair. So I'm gonna pour out all my names because I wanna make sure the people who've been following me also from the beginning have a fair shot. That's an empty one. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> So, we have our first one is Humera. You guys have such beautiful names, I love it. Okay, so I'm using 32 pound paper for this one. And um, the reason why you wanna use the 32 pound paper is it glides a little bit better and it won't, um, it won't wreck your brush tip. So when you use thicker paper like a mixed media or even a watercolor paper, which I totally do, um, it's gonna, it can kind of mess up the tip of the, of the brush pen. And then you're not gonna get like super crisp lines. So, but. Okay, so with um, the Tombows, if you, since it's a water-based marker, you can do all sorts of um, different things with the water-based marker. So let's say I have, let's say I have a dish and I'm gonna use, I think this is my darker color. I can add, I can add the ink to my dish and I'm using 32 pound paper for this because it's nice and smooth. It's not gonna wreck your pens. I'm gonna take a lighter color and I can even take a lighter color maybe. And you pick up, you pick up some ink on your pen. You can see it's like on there and then you can start to write to get like a really pretty ombre effect. And every time you want to add more, you just go in. I might want to add more here. So that's one way to use the Tomboys is, and then when you're done, if you wanna make sure there's nothing else on it, you can just use your pen to get the rest of the ink out. Okay, so I have my water here, and let's say I don't have any paints with me, but I have my Tomboys. One of the things I kinda of like is like, I'm gonna be going on vacation soon. So it's a lot of, makes my life easier if I wanna sit and paint to be able to do so with just my pens and like a dish or something from the hotel room. So you can mix a color and make your own little paint right there just using Tombows. So let's say I wanna just do a background. 
So it's not just lettering. I'm gonna do like, let's say I'm just gonna do like, maybe I'm doing a card. Can you see that? And there, it really does make a pretty watercolor effect. So if you're doing like a travel journal or something, these are kind of cool to have. And obviously the more paint that you, or ink that you put down in the well, the more pigmented it's gonna be. And then you let that dry, or if you're like me, and you want to dry it with your heat tool, I mean, that's, that's nice. It, I feel like that's super pretty. It gives you options of using like watercolors when you don't have watercolor. Um, and I'm gonna just pick another person's name. A Melinda, a Melinda. So let's do a Melinda and we'll use Tombow Food Nosuke. And I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, but that's how we're going with it. So this is the Tombow and this is the Blue Barrel. This is the hard tip. I prefer the hard tip. So a lot of people have said, if you're beginning, use the soft tip. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I like the hard tip better, but that's okay. Try them both out. Maybe you'll love the other way better. Okay, so I'm Melinda. And what's cool about the having the Tombos is that as paint is that you don't even need to have all the colors. You can mix, like I said, you can mix the paints. Oh, Melinda. So kind of a fun little thing to do with the Tombos and I will do some other tricks um, next time with them, but loads of fun, easy to do. And since I'm gearing up for vacation, I just might grab a bunch So and do it that way. So thank you so much you guys for watching and I will see you next time.